back to the lab. This this is a very loud lab because I like to scream. Anyway, hopefully you didn't get your eardrums pierced. So today we're talking about economy. Economy is something that many people don't understand. And I, I'm not talking here about real life, but that's also true. But I'm talking here about how it works in-game. You see many people not understanding concepts like forcing, full buying, saving, and very simple things about utility. So I'll give you an example. Something that triggers me so badly, it was actually the reason to make this episode about economy. When you're losing first round, or round 13 because you swapped sides, you're just losing the pistol round, right? For the next round, on round two, I see many people not buying jack shit. Or buying a pistol and not buying jack anything else. So the thing is that when you go into the round two, you need to think already about round three, right? So for a full buy on round three, you either need 3.3k or 3.9k because that's a rifle plus small shield or big shield, right? But then on top of that, you need utility. So how I approach the game, and I do think this is the correct way, and there's absolutely zero arguments for it to be wrong. So when I'm losing the pistol round, on round two, I'm buying my full utility that I want to have on round three. But I'm buying it with the intent of not using it. And the only reason why I have that utility on round two is if something unpredictable happens and somehow we gain an advantage as an eco team, right? Because we have all pistols and no armor and so on. And we get a kill, we get two kills. Suddenly there's a huge advantage, 4v3, 5v3, whatever. Then you have that util available to use so you can use it to increase the odds of winning round two, which should have been lost. But if you're, if you're just not having an advantage, you just don't use the util, because if you don't use it, it gets transferred to round three. So what I'm buying on round two, I always buy enough util to either have 3.3k for the next round or 3.9k for the round three. But you see many people go, they play breach, they, buy, they lose pistol, they go round two, they buy aftershock two flashes, and the first thing they do is gonna flash at the barrier, second flash, gain space, die, and they go into the round three with bulldog and one flash because they didn't have more cash. Because they're not thinking ahead. So, as an exercise, whoever's listening to this video and trying to like implement this in, their, in your own gameplay, if you lose the pistol round, always buy full utility but leave enough cash for round three to have either small shields and rifle, like a vandal, or full shield and a rifle, right? And only use the util on round two if you think this util will help you tip, tip the odds that are already favorable for you as a team to win round two. Otherwise, don't press the buttons. If you're playing a smoker, like a brimstone, like an omen, right? Let's say I'm playing Omen, I lost round, round 1, and I'm going into round 2. Then I'm not buying two smokes. As a Brimstone, I'm not buying a single smoke. If I use them, of course, on pistol round. Because the one smoke that you get is for free. For Brimstone, you're just going to have one smoke for the round. It's okay. You can use it because you're getting it back for the next round. Right? If you would just buy free smokes for round 2, and then use one smoke for round 2 when you're on an eco, that means that you just spend 100 credits that you're not getting back. But if you, you, if you have only one smoke for round two, then you get that 100 credits back because you're getting it for free for round three, so you just have to spend 200 credits to get full smokes, right? If you're an omen, you don't have to do anything. You're getting more than one smoke per round anyway. You're, uh, you use a smoke, 15 seconds later, you have another one when it expires. So... Think about it this way. You have to be effective with your utility on round two with the absolute minimum 
that you have. It's so important to make sure that you understand how to buy for round three when you lost one round one, but you need utility for round two in case something goes greatly, like something goes great for the team. Now, when it comes to round two, you, you lose pistol round. You, let's say you're attacking. You lose the pistol round, but you plant it. The call might be to force. Force is a nomenclature used in tactical FPSs to indicate that even though you lost the previous round, you want to make sure you have the biggest odds for winning the next one because you have enough of cash because you planted, you get 300 credits for each player to buy something for yourself. So you use everything that you have. Let's say pistol round lost, but we planted. Round two, the call is to force. Every single player needs to spend everything in that round. There's no, no, no saving. Okay, don't leave 400 credits. Don't leave 500 credits. Don't leave 600 credits. You buy what you can. You go Spectre Small Shields. You go Stinger Full Shields. You go Stinger Small Shields Utility. You just buy everything to increase the odds of winning. Because if you lose the force on round two, then you go full eco on round three, where again, the same rule applies as you would be echoing for round two after losing a pistol round without a force. You buy full util, but you don't use it unless you have to. And for round four, then you have full buy. So those small things need to be understood because you need to play with your teammates, right? If the call is to force and you're not buying, you're dislodging the economy balance in your team. Because if, for example, four players forced and one didn't, then for the next round, as a player who didn't force, you cannot full buy. Because if you're going to full buy for the next round, four players are going to be on eco and you're going to be a full buy, right? So there's a huge dissonance. And if you lose that round, then you don't have the full buy for the next round, but four other players have. So if that dissonance happens at some point in the game, you just have to check. You need to have a habit. Every round, press scoreboard, right? Press the tab. Check how much cash your teammates have. If your teammates have 3.3k, all of your teammates have 3.3k, doesn't matter what utility they have or not, that round can be a full buy. Because a Vandal plus small shield is a full buy. Right? It doesn't matter how much utility you have. This counts as a full buy. So you can play with that. If you see that your teammates are not having that amount, that indicates that you should be playing probably a half buy. And a half buy follows the same rule set that we just explained for round two after losing a pistol round. So you buy enough of utility and equipment to have 3.3 or 3.9 for the next round, right? But if you have even more cash, you can think about using utility and just having an excess of cash sitting in the bank. So for example, if I'm in a round where all of my teammates have an odd number of cash, like 2.8, they can't really do much, so we call for a half buy. When I'm buying a gun that round, I'm paying attention to what, say, what is being saved for the next round. So if I buy a Stinger half shield, and I see that I have next round is going to be 3.7k, that means I have 400 credits, that I can spend on utility this round. So I can use the clown as a euro and one flash because that costs me 400, exactly 400. So I can use those, rebuy them next round and still have a vandal and a small shield. Right? You need to think about it this way. That round that is happening, this round that is happening right now is not important. What is important is the outcome of the economy for the next round. Always think ahead. Always think ahead of what will happen in the next round because otherwise you're gonna dissonance, you're gonna put dissonance in the entire team. Right? And remember, for planting the spike, even if the round is already gone, you won. It's come down of those six seconds. If you plant the spike, you get 300 credits for each player. You get also an orb for planting, even though the round already concluded. That's very important. Each kill is 200 credits. You can also incorporate that in building up economy. And there are a few characters that can build up economy easier because of the way 
that the utility works. I already talked about Brimstone and Omen at getting the free stuff, right? But the thing is, for example, Reyna is a great example. Because Reyna, she gets one um, dismiss orb for free, right? Devour, whatever. So, for example, when you have a round, when you're five out of six on the ultimate, you don't buy a second orb. Because what you do, if you get a kill, you use the orb that you have equipped, the only one that you got for free, and then you can use your ultimate because you just got a kill, so you pop the ultimate and you get your orbs back because during the ultimate you have infinite amount of orbs. That means that if you're playing this correctly, you're saving 200 credit cash for the next round. Because you didn't have to buy this one right here. Because if you buy two and then pop the ult anyway, then essentially one orb is wasted. Right? And remember, when you win pistol round, that is also very important. If you play, I think this is even more important than uh, maybe you should have started the video with that. So when you play defense, you win the pistol round, right? And your opponent planted the spike. There's a very high chance that your opponents will force and full buy. As a defender, it's very important for you to be heavily equipped to battle that. So if you win the pistol round as a defense, your opponent's planted, please always buy a gun. Don't buy Vandals, don't buy Phantoms, buy a Spectre, buy a Stinger, buy a Bucky, buy a, a Judge, whatever. Just be on a full armor, 50 HP, unless you save 25 from the previous round, and you have like 25 still from pistol round, then don't, don't buy it. But in general, you want to be prepared for a force. If, you're, if your opponents didn't plant, right, on pistol round, but you won the pistol round, then one of the teammates, I feel like, can go for a pistol, but four other ones have to buy an SMG, a Marshall, whatever. But in general, on defense, you never want to buy a rifle on round two because of the nature of how defense works. You are more disconnected from your teammates. You can get overrun. Because if five players on an eco push your side and raise or jet or Yoru close the gap to you, and they get a lucky kill on you, you just donated a rifle and no one can retrieve it. Different, different logic applies on, on attack because in some scenarios, buying a Vandal or a Phantom round two kinda makes sense, but only if you have a teammate that is ready to pick it up. Ideally, for example, if you play with a duo, one of your duo buys full shield, the other one drops him in the Vandal, so he's like a tank, like a raid boss. And the other one with the small shields just, just plays a pistol. And he's next to the guy that is, has that Vandal or a Phantom. Phantom is better, by the way, around two, because your opponents will not have armor. So 140 is lethal. Or 124, typically. So you, you just let the guy that has the, van, the rifle handle the fights. You try to help him, but you're not going first because you want to pick up the gun. But in general... Lurking on round two with a Vandal. Holy shit, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but this is happening in Immortal 3 way too often. Then you guys realize. It's terrible, people are losing because of that. So, please, on attack, go for different weapons than rifles. Unless you know how to play with a risky buy like that. That means you're always going... With your teammates, there's always someone ready that didn't buy a gun to buy that gun. Uh, sorry, to, to um, pick up that gun if you died. And remember, when you buy a rifle on round two, but you have only small armor, you are buffing every single sheriff of your opponents to a headhunter from a chamber. Because whatever the distance of the fight is, the, the sheriff will kill you because you have a small armor. That's why I cringe so much. When I see on round two, professional teams go for a Vandal round two on someone who has small shields. Just drop the guns around. Give the gun that is so powerful to someone who has full shield, so it has less chance of getting dinked, right? And drop the SMG to the guy who's small shields and more mobile. And that's it. 
so yeah that's about it i think those are the most important topics when it comes to the economy that are like very pressing when it comes to ranked uh because they're just they happen so often those mistakes are just happening so often it's actually crazy we're gonna go back to the economy at some point as well because this is not covering every aspect of it but i wanted to just touch the really touchy subjects like the vandal round two not understanding utility buys um and yeah that's about it that's about it thank you very much for watching this episode if you guys have suggestions to the topics we have a discord channel that is meant for this purpose so you can always uh leave um a suggestion there or here in the youtube replies in the comments i'll make sure to read and uh, reply so thank you very much for watching see you guys around bye bye